How did you get your first break? Well, my, my first break, well, it started in pretty soon, sure you know, that's the story. Yeah, but for the people that don't know, I was a dancer on Soul Train. Thank you to meet two of our Soul Train dancers. How are your name? Leslie. Hey, Leslie. Alex. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. One more thing I wanted to ask you before. Um, how did you get into comedy? And how old were you? So, comedy was, even like Kenyatta I tell you, and all my friends that are around, I was just always the silly, funny dude. Mm -hmm. Not trying to be. Not saying, hey guys, you know, I want to be a comedian. No, I was. I guess I just had the person. I was the dude that already always had everybody laughing, even though I was pop locking and dancing and and being in dance groups and doing all. I was I was in the party world. I was just always the dude that had everybody laughing. Cut to high school, I end up winning class clown, best sense of humor. It wasn't like in September. I'm like, vote for me in July. <laughs> best sense of humor, funny guy. No, it just. Happened that way. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you know, those years, you know, I'm looking up to two people and two people only. That was Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. wow. Don't get me wrong. I loved hip hop. Hip hop was new. But I was looking up to those two comedians, not saying I want to be like them, not knowing one day I'd be friends with Eddie Murphy, mm -hmm. my idol. It's just it just happened. How did you get your first break? Well, my, my first break, well, it started in pretty sure you know this, the story, yeah, but for the people that don't know, I was a dancer on Soul Train. Thank you to meet two of our Soul Train dancers. How your name? Leslie. Hey, Leslie. Alex. 15, I 15 to 20 years old. Getting I was, to it. Yes. Getting to it. Come on, man. I was just a Local hood celebrity. <laughs> and you got to think about it. Those years, let's just take 85 to 90. Come on, man. No matter who you were, whether you were Michael Jackson, Prince, Luther Vandross, or New Edition, whoever you were and you were black, you had to go on Soul Train. Soul Train has been brought to you in part by Johnson Products Company. Bet your last money, it's all gonna be a stone gas, honey. I'm Don Cornelius, and as always in parting, we wish you love, peace, and so. Right. That's before MTV, that's before mm -hmm. BETV. It didn't get no bigger than Soul, than Soul Train. Train. Right. So you got to think about it. I'm a hood celebrity because I'm going down the, the line every week. Mm -hmm. No credits. I didn't know. No, I was just having fun as a kid. Mm -hmm. But I was that dude that even though I was just dancing, I was around all these stars. I learned on my own the whole networking shit. Mm -hmm. Here I am. 17, 18 years old with a phone book full of stars. Oh, it's one of your, uh, I'm one of your big fans and I just put your initials up here, Gladys Knight. No kidding. <laughs> I love you for that. I thought, you know, I thought. Cause I, I didn't know any better. I, I was that dude if, when, you know, Tony, 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 LL Cool J, Luther Vandross come. But I'm a champ, it's not a house, and a house. And they see me dancing, they be like, oh, you the dude on Soul Train, man. Like, that's me. Let's get a picture. What's your phone number? <laughs> nigga, front number. I'm like, Smart. nigga, I can call Luther Vandross right Smart. now. Yeah, right. Nigga, I can really go hang out that's with LL Cool J. That's and smart. I didn't realize, I say that to say, when I started doing stand-up in 1991, right? A lot of the stars out there, they knew me as the dancing dude. Mm. So let's just take... Rest in peace, uh, Easy E. Take people like Run DMC, Hammer. When they started seeing me on the the Deaf Comedy Jams and the Comic Views, excuse me, and all the comedy shows, they're like, "That's the little dancing nigga." Like, you do stand up now? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I already had these relationships. I'm the dude that before I even got into Hollywood, I was kind of like already in Hollywood. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Yeah, we gonna talk.